Now we're going to put those molar masses to use and learn how to convert between mass and number of moles. So when you're attempting to do this, all the information that you need can be found on the periodic table. So here I'm going to complete my conversion factor using my periodic table. So one mole of copper, copper is monoatomic, so I don't even need to do any math. I'm just going to grab the value, the atomic mass of copper straight off the periodic table. So I'm going to put uh, 63.56 grams of copper. And remember these mass to mole conversion factors can be flipped just like all of our other conversion factors. So I'm going to put the 63.56 in the numerator along with grams of copper and that'll be divided by one mole of copper. So setting this up is going to look the same as setting up any other dimensional analysis problem. I'm going to start with what they gave me. So they said we have a 35.8 gram copper sheet. So we're always going to use labels. And I'm thinking, well, I need to get rid of grams. So I'll put grams of copper in the denominator. And they asked us to calculate the amount of copper in moles. So in my numerator, I'm going to have one mole of copper. So I'm going to be using this first conversion factor, and I'm going to be dividing by 63.56. Just want to check how my units are canceling. So grams of copper will cancel grams of copper leaving me with moles of copper. And the answer here is 0 0.563 moles of copper. So on number 16, the first thing we're asked to do is complete our two conversion factors. And once again, that information is going to be found in the periodic table. So I'm going to grab 47.87, the atomic mass of titanium. And I'm going to also put it over here. We're asked to calculate the mass of 0.473 moles of titanium. So we're always going to start with the value that we're given. And we're going to label it moles titanium. And then we want to get rid of moles of titanium. And we would like to go to grams of titanium. So I'll put that in the numerator. Now in this particular problem, I'm going to need the version of the conversion factor. Oh, that sounded slick. Version of the conversion factor where 47.87 is in the numerator. And one mole of titanium will be in my denominator. So looking at how things cancel, moles of titanium cancel moles of titanium, leaving us with just grams of titanium. So now I'm just going to multiply 0.473 times 47.87. And then after considering the fact that we only have three sig figs, I would report my answer as 22.6 grams of titanium. In number 17, we were asked to convert from grams of argon to moles of argon. So I'm going to start with the mass of argon that they gave me, 11.8 grams, and I need to get rid of grams. So in my conversion factor, grams will be in the denominator. And then you're always going to one mole when you have these mass to mole conversion factors. And this last bit of information that I need is from the periodic table. So argon has an atomic mass, molar mass of 39.9 grams. So I'm going to do 11.8 divided by 39.9. And then after considering sig figs, I report my final answer as 0 
moles of argon. So we're going to start with the value that they gave us, the 2.3 times 10 to the negative third moles of antimony. We were asked to convert this to grams. So I'm going to set up my conversion factor to get rid of moles of antimony. And in the numerator, I'm going to have grams of antimony. So the information that I need to complete this is from the periodic table. I'm going to do 121.76 grams of antimony in one mole of antimony. And so we're going to multiply 2.3 times 10 to the negative third times the 121.76. We only have two sig figs. So I'm going to report my final answer as 0 0.28 grams of antimony. So this next set of problems will require just a little bit more work. And that's because we're dealing with molecules or compounds rather than individual monoatomic elements. So that extra step will be for us to calculate the molar mass before we even jump into the problem. So for methane, that has one carbon and four hydrogens. So I'm going to go to the periodic table and grab all those masses. When I threw these values into my calculator, I got a mass of 16.043 grams per mole. This is the value that I need to complete these conversion factors. So one mole of CH4 has 16.043 grams of CH4 and then I can flip that to complete the other one. Now we're ready to start the problem. So they told us that we have 34.56 grams of CH4. We're asked to change this or convert this into moles. So I want to get rid of grams. And in my numerator, I'll have moles of CH4. So one mole of CH4 has 16.043 grams. And so we're going to do 34.56 divided by that molar mass, I have four sig figs, because there's four sig figs in the value they gave us, and plenty of sig figs with our molar mass, five. Um, and so I'm gonna report my final answer as 2.154 moles of methane, moles of CH4. So in problem number 20, we're asked to calculate the mass of 7.29 moles of silver bromide. So in order to do this, we need the molar mass of silver bromide. So I'm going to look up silver and bromine on my periodic table. There's one of each, so I'll do 107.868 plus 79.90. And that gives me a grand total of 187.768 grams. That number's off to the side. We're gonna hold for one second with that. We wanna start with what they gave us. So 7.29 moles of silver bromide. So here I need to get rid of moles and turn it into mass. So I need moles in the denominator. And I'm going to do grams of silver bromide in the numerator. So with mole, we're always going to do one. 
And then for silver bromide, I'm going to grab the mass I've just calculated. So I'm going to do 187.768 in the numerator. Now I'm going to have to multiply 7.29 times the 187.768. I just have three sig figs. So that gave me a value of 1.37 times 10 to the third grams of silver bromide. And the last thing I need to do, let me switch colors here, is check that the units cancel properly. We should always go through that. So moles of silver bromide cancel moles of silver bromide, and we're just left with grams of silver bromide. So in this problem, we're given a mass of table sugar and we're asked to convert that to moles. I went ahead and calculated the molar mass of the sucrose using the formula. So I'm going to start with what they gave us, the 28.35 grams. And we're looking to get rid of grams. So that'll go in the denominator of our conversion factor. And I'm going to have one mole of the sucrose in the numerator. So grams will cancel grams, leaving us with moles of sucrose. So that's perfect. To complete this conversion factor, I need to grab the molar mass that I calculated earlier. So I'm going to put 342.297 grams in the denominator. And that gives me a value of the four sig figs. So I'm going to do 8.282 times 10 to the negative second moles of C12H22O11. In addition, you don't have to use scientific notation here to get the four sig figs. So 0.08282 moles of the sucrose is also acceptable. So let's start with what they gave us, 0.583 moles of CH4. We want to get rid of moles of CH4 and change that into grams. We have calculated the molar mass earlier. Um, I wrote it over there just to remind us. And moles of CH4 will cancel moles of CH4, leaving us with grams of CH4. That's perfect because they want us to calculate mass. We're just going to multiply across, and the answer is 9.35 grams of CH4.